this. This is a Hershity 92 Hall Clock Model 228 from 1916. And even with these 12 foot ceilings, it barely fits. I know those doorways are eight feet high. A lot of people's ceilings are eight feet in the average house. This is an old Victorian house. We have 12 foot ceilings. And look at that compared to the uh, chandelier. But these are an actual work of art. It's all hand carved. I don't know if you can see how wide this is compared to the other. Now there's the other clocks. Most clocks are about the same width. And then this clock's width. Very heavy beveled glass on the sides. On the front, it's, it's beautiful. Wood on the outside of the glass. Eight chime tubes and one hour tube. There, I want to show you the length of the hour tube. It goes almost to the bottom of the clock. It's within four inches of the bottom of the clock. And there I am looking at it. That's my eye level. That's probably six feet right there. And then we still have that much more to go. That tube is definitely taller than I am. These columns are hand carved and they're actually narrower at the top than they are at the bottom and that's a solid piece of wood okay, I'll go inside real quick try not to get reflections University was very precise with their clocks. They only made a couple movements. And this movement went into every nine tube. There were seven tube, five tube movements. If I saw a Hershey video. It's brass dipped in 14 karat gold. And in the video it said, yes, brass is beautiful, but everyone knows what gold looks like. J.B. Van Shiver. Is a a Camden furniture maker. That 
moon phase is in very good condition relative to some of the ones I've seen. I've seen several even that have no paint left on them at all. It was just a, something that just did not survive the, over the years. I've also seen some that look so new that you can tell that they were repainted. It does a Westminster chime, which is the most famous, a Whittington chime, and a Canterbury, which I think was actually written, a Canterbury chime was written for Hershey by a musician or a composer of the time. There's a lever for chimes and for silent, and also for the strike, the hourly strike, because this does get loud. I'm only going to do this. That weight on the right weighs 29 pounds. how to service the tubular clocks. That's the original key winder. There's some parts in there. That gray thing, prior owner had it tucked in there and he had covers in here made of cardboard to, to buffer the noise a bit because of how loud it can get. One more, just to show you the hourly strike. I'm going to shut this to try and get a little more quiet. I don't wake up the neighborhood. We have 12 o'clock. It also has a seconds hand, three winding arbors. I did replace the cables, the brass cables on here. The others were in good shape. They just weren't of the same length. So uh, someone must have replaced them at some point. Shut this Shut the strike off, shut the chimes off. <laughs> 